The thing I love about VR is that modders allow me to live out my childhood games in a new medium. Star Wars Battlefront was a major part of my childhood growing up and was one of the first games that I heavily sunk time into. Being able to play this in VR is really surreal. So this past week, I purchased Contractors, and boy did I not know what I was missing out on. The past two years, I've been playing VR, and I did not know that someone had modded all of Star Wars Battlefront, weapons, maps, vehicles, into the game. I only played for about two hours, but I'm pretty sure I saw just about every map and more from the 2004 Battlefront game, and boy, I'm impressed. So as I'm looking back, I can really see the care and passion by the mod team that put this together. Being able to play Endor, Hoth, Tatooine, and a bunch of other maps is a lot of fun. Even better is that it's during the Clone Wars, and I would argue that's the best period of time for Star Wars, for many reasons I don't really need to go into here. So if you played the original Battlefront, you would know of the class system used. Assault, Heavy Weapons, Sniper, and I think the other one was Commander, or I think that's what it was. Basically, each class would have its own predetermined weapons. Additionally, this mod brings unlockable special classes that were a part of the original game. These classes offered more unique weapons that were stronger, and additionally you were granted more health. So they're all included in this mod as well. And if that wasn't enough for you, they also included Anakin Skywalker and Count Dooku with workable lightsabers. I made sure to provide a variety of gameplay experiences in this footage, so you see a variety of maps, special classes, and all sorts in action. At one point, you'll see when I learned that the rocket launcher and jetpack is the most deadly class in the game. Another element that really brings the immersion of the mod is all the sounds used, from the iconic Star Wars blaster sounds to the thermal detonator explosions. They added all the audio from the clones and droids into the game. This makes the game really feel alive and adds another layer of immersion to an already great mod. What's even better is that the mod also includes the iconic Star Wars music right into the game. I have to say, when the two teams are going back and forth and they're shooting it out and the Star Wars music is playing in the background, it's just a heck of a time. It just adds to that level of immersion that you want from a VR game. Now some of you are probably wondering, well how popular is this mod and can I even get into a game how frequently? So from my experience, I was able to get into a lobby no problem at all. Contractors is really nice. It has a multiplayer server browser, which I think every game should include, which lets you search for game modes and search for maps and game types. And a lot of people were running the Star Wars mod. This is definitely one of the more popular mods. I was able to get into uh, Star Wars games on a multiple occasions, so you shouldn't have any problem getting into this. Given that we're probably never going to see a true Star Wars VR game from a publisher, this is probably the best thing that you're going to get for the time being. And honestly, it's worth the money to buy contractors alone for this mod. I don't see it going out of style. I see this continuing to be played as it's the only Star Wars Battlefront experience that you can get at the moment. Like I said, unless a publisher comes along, gets the Star Wars license, and actually makes a game, this will probably be popular for a very, very long time. So the final thing I wanna mention was how helpful the contractors community was when playing this game. There was a few things that I didn't know how to do, like switch classes or select my special classes. They were really helpful in giving directions and as far as how to do certain things and how to activate certain abilities and whatnot. So that's a really good sign to see. I know some multiplayer VR communities can be a little bit rougher to get into, but overall I was really happy with how easy and easygoing everyone was while playing this. At the end of the day, it's Star Wars. It's not some competitive you know, FPS shooter where we're going super try hard, right? Overall, I cannot recommend the Star Wars Battlefront mod enough and definitely give it a shot if you have not already. I'm going to leave a link to my Discord server below if you want to join. I want to use this in the future to play multiplayer VR games with my community. Somehow there's over 3,400 of you that have subscribed to me and I cannot thank you all enough for the support. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to let the rest of the gameplay play out. Comment below your thoughts. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new, and happy gaming. Okay,